Guys, welcome to Gunners Lovers TV. If we cannot win the match, we should not lose it. Those were the words of uh, David Raya, the hero for a match against Atlanta tonight with a double save from the penalty from Matteo Retegu, uh, the, the Italian player who took the penalty. David Raya went very low towards the far end on his right to bring the ball out. And again, the follow-up header from Matteo he got it on the line, brought it out again. Then all our defenders ran to the rescue to make sure that nothing, no more damage was caused. That penalty was uh, caused by uh, no other person than uh, Thomas Pate, who virtually escorted the Italian player into the 10-year box. He should have left the guy as soon as he entered the box. And a clip from the back was what led to the penalty. As soon as the player felt the contact, he fell down straight away. You can't blame him. Now, Arsenal's defense starts from the goalkeeper. Gabriel gave credit to uh, the goalkeeper coach, Nyak, who has be very instrumental to his uh, success as our short stopper and also now penalty stopper. <laughs> uh, last time he did that in the Premier League, he did say that these are the kind of uh, exercises that um, goalkeepers do during training. But today we can see that this is beyond normal exercise. This is agility at its best. This is focus. This is a uh, responsibility. You know, he is aware of his responsibility. He's delivering for the club. He's delivering for those who are coaching him, Ateta and the goalkeeper's coach, and also delivering for the fans. So it is way beyond just exercise from training. He's now executed it to now go a step further. He is bent on keeping clean sheet. It's a standard he has kept for himself, given to himself. So that is why you can see what happens every match. When you pass Arsenal defenders, then you have Davila to contend with. And as it is now, teams are now finding it very difficult to break down Arsenal's defense which also comprises of uh, David Ryan. A defense stood resolute today. Uh, Lukman, Ademola Lukman, uh, had a one-on-one -on -one with Saliba. With the dexterity and uh, agility of uh, Saliba, he, he was so alert to the moves by uh, Ademola Lukman and gave that very beautiful clear out and uh, removed the ball from danger, a uh, danger point uh, towards our goal because Ademar Lukman was going to shoot that ball and it was very, very close to David Raya, coming close to David Raya. Now, a very beautiful opportunity that Martinelli had was wasted. It was wasted in the second half. Raheem Sterling came in, well galvanized to move the ball forward. I haven't got the instructions from uh, uh, from uh, Ateta. He didn't want to be selfish. He gave it to Martinelli, so that people will not write in the uh, in the papers tomorrow. This is why you were sold from Chelsea. You could not. Uh, you don't know how to play football. Now you can see Raheem Sterling can play football. He gave the ball to Martinelli. But what did Martinelli do? As usual, he blasted it to high, high to the sky. Yes, to the sky. That's where he blasted it to. I don't know who plays ball, who, who play ball in the sky. There's nobody there to tap it back. So, and then he show he lie, it was lying down on the floor. Show how disappointed he is. I don't know why he's lying down on the floor to show how disappointed he is. We already know that he's going to disappoint us. He has his form is bad, 
uh, we, everybody has said it, uh, those that care for us now, that Trosa should be starting. Uh, but the way Martinelli is going, if he does not pick up his bike, Sterling will begin to bench him from the next six matches to come. You you, you will see by the time we we'll click up to six matches. Watch the trend. Sterling came in around 10 minutes or so towards the last match. Today, he was given over 10 minutes to play. Before you know it, he will be the one to be replacing Martinelli or starting uh, the matches for us. All he needs to do now is start adding goals. Once he starts adding goals and Martinelli is not adding, then that's the, the end of uh, Martinelli starting matches. He'll be warming the bench until he, he, he learns the lesson. Now, Saka was also very instrumental to this match, although he was marked by one million people. You know what I mean? He was always doubling up on Saka. Saka gave a very good and very beautiful free kick. Uh, the wall could not stop it. He made it very low. If not for the Guipa who died very low, saw it on time, that ball would have gone to the far corner of the uh, goal post into the net. But the Guipa was very, very much at a lot. Now, a wing play uh, was not too effective today because the Italians, Atlanta as a team, is a very solid team. Don't forget, they are the defending champions of the Europa League. They are champions in their right. So you can imagine uh, winner of uh, uh, Europa League playing their first match at home against uh, Arsenal. With the heat of uh, supporters, uh, uh, you know, the, their fans putting on Arsenal pressure. Arsenal still stood their ground and they were able to come out on uh, scratch. It is better to go away uh, to pick a point in your opponent's ground than to go and lose there. So we have, we have taken our first point uh, in the Champions League uh, group stages. Now, I mean, in the Champions League group stages. But now, also, remember, the format this time around is different. But all these things we can't at the end because head-to-head uh, -head also be an issue. Also, remember... Because somebody asked me, what's the difference between this one and what Man City played? Uh, yesterday, Man City, of course, those are the defending champions for Premier League. And um, somebody said, it's the same 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, I said, well, they, they played at home. It's more of a loss to them, to Man City, than a win. Atlanta felt like they've lost the match because they played at home. Uh, they are champions in their own right. Somebody came to your house and, you know, it was a draw. Frustrated all the effort they made to try and score the ball, a goal. So, this is why I've said it that um, our defense is the key that we have this season. Our defense is the key. We we'll match with this defense to uh Manchester City. I did say when substitution was going to be before they, they even made substitution, I told my family when we were watching that uh Ateta is going to bring bring in Calafuri and uh and uh going to bring in also Trossard uh, sorry and uh, Raheem Sterling and as it was uh, during the match he brought in those guys and then before you know it Trossard was also there. Uh, I must say that Timba has done exceptionally well at the back, considering his injury last season. He doesn't look like somebody who now had ACL before. He's not afraid of tackles, and his, his gameplay is very clean and uh, a vast danger on time. Yeah. Uh, Havertz did very well, but uh, he didn't know fruit today. You know, Rice tried. Party before he made that mistake was very solid. Jojo came in, Kaifuro came in. They tried their best to hold on to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong. So we come out of Italy with a point. Now, you see why I say that critics of uh, Rams, uh, Ramsday, I mean, uh, Ateta, why he sold Ramsday. You can now see today again 
why he sold Ramsey. Now, why that penalty was being checked, that it, as long as that penalty was going to take up the next year to be checked, that we are new penalty is going to be given. There's no reason why you'll be there arguing up and down, wasting time. Instead of thinking of how to stop the ball, he went straight to the goalkeeper, uh, goalkeeping uh, coach eh, to discuss the way forward, how to get that ball to make sure it doesn't enter the net. That's what he went to do. And the man gave him tips on what to do. He went there and executed it. So that's the mentality that our players have now. You know, a can do mentality, not the one I will try. No, we don't. You see, all our players, the ones who have sold, many of them is I will try, I will try attitude. The ones left now is I can do it. You know, this is the difference. Like, share, and subscribe. No worker pass is gonna survive. Stay there. I'm your host, Augustine. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. Please share this video to your friends, family, and uh, if not, your colleagues. If you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Let me give you a time, some few seconds to subscribe. Now that you have subscribed, you are welcome to this platform. And uh, I will see you in our match again against Manchester City. Arsenal 0, Atlanta 0.